The invention by Demetria Etuket and her classmates is mostly made from local materials with just a few imported parts. Um, the maternal postpartum human wrap is made up of polyurethane coated nylon as well as um, the components of a blood pressure machine that is a bulb, a bladder as well as a pressure gauge. Etuket explains the idea behind their innovation. Um, we looked into the current interventions and one of them is whereby they insert a hand into the vagina of a woman, as well as another hand to, um, to wrap around the, 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 um, the abdomen. So the point here is just to exert pressure on the, on the uterine walls, causing it to contract. So um, when we looked at that procedure, we asked around the, the, um, the clinicians, we talked to a couple of um, patients, women that have actually gone through this procedure, and um, we discovered that it's first of a very painful procedure. Imagine a hand being inserted inside. Second of all, it requires skilled manpower, which is not exactly readily available. Basically, I've just done a preclinical trial whereby we tested the components of the wrap, that is the pressure gauge, to ascertain how much pressure is being given out. Um, we have tested it on a couple of pre people who are not pregnant. So right now we can't tell how effective is it, it is. But once we get into the clinical trials, which is very soon, we'll be able to know um, how effective it is in reducing the amount of blood. Um, there's just a little bit of increase in pressure in the abdominal area. We did a 3D computer-aided design. Um, then we got dimensions, uh, dimensions of different women from the largest to the smallest because it couldn't be one size, it wouldn't work for various sizes of women. What is a possibility of someone who is not trained in using this, mm -hmm. of exerting a lot more pressure that, than necessary and maybe could end up damaging the mother's uterus or some other body organs? Okay, so um, this is basically the standard of um, carrying out a clinical trial. Um, first of all, the, the people who are going to use the device must be trained. According to the team, this device has already been tested by the Uganda National Bureau of Standards and they found out that uh, the components such as the gauge and also the casing and other parts are up to the standard and they are fine. So what remains is the clinical trial after which they will determine the margin of error and whether even the device works properly within the international standards. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV Innovation Nation.